welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to SWF Shootout. We have got an awesome card for you here today. We've got the tournament finals coming up. We've got a lot of good stuff coming, and I am super pumped about it. We've got a tag team matchup as well here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Let's get started. Here we go, folks. Coming in at the first matchup of the night. It is the finals for the SWF Maverick Championship number one contendership. And we have here first is Jay Wolf. As you heard the announcer just say, this is an extreme rules match. We're going to make these guys work for it. And this is going to be the winner of this matchup is going to face Seb Abbott at the pay-per-view which is gold rush for that maverick championship now speaking of seb abbott tonight later in this episode alex corzo last week had some choice words uh for puma for siler jordan wondering where his title was last season uh corzo was the champion of rebellion he didn't get his title he is pissed for sure understandable so Siler Jordan put out a challenge to Alex Corzo, said you pick yourself a partner and we'll go at it tonight. Siler Jordan and James Frost are going to take on Alex Corzo and Seb Abbott here later tonight. But first, we have got to see who is going to face Seb Abbott at Gold Rush and looky looky who it is. If we haven't seen this match a million times and if I'm not mistaken, it's it's pretty close as far as wins and losses between these two guys but they're gonna put it on the line here in an extreme rules match bruiser brad and jay wolf the winner faces seb abbott who we like i said we're gonna see him later again later tonight for the first time might i add and siler jordan for the first time in action uh, i'm interested to see how the team of Frost and Siler work together, how the team of Corzo and Seb work together as they've never really tag teamed before. I'm really, really interested to see that. And then of course the main event tonight, SDC versus Duke Zenda. The winner of that match is gonna face Siler Jordan at SWF Gold Rush. That is coming here within a few weeks. Jay giving Bruiser Brad his space there. One member of the Fallen Kingdom tag team along with Malcolm Black. These two gentlemen won eight man battle royals to get to this spot. They were the biggest men in their matches, of course. Bruiser Brad eliminating Leo McKay. And here we go. The ref rings the bell and we start things off. Holy cow. Is this how it's gonna end, just like that? One, my goodness. I don't think we've ever seen Jay do a roll up like that. And these guys are going at each other. They know each other's past. They know just every nook and cranny and every move as they have faced each other many, many times in the past, last season especially. Working the neck is Jay Wolf. Now, oh, look at him. Bruiser Brad. These guys uh, about the same. Oh, Brad not having that. They're bouncing off each other's shoulders in a running DDT. My goodness. Jay Wolf and Bruiser Brad might be close to the same height. And here we see another roll up and another one count. But uh, I'm, I'm betting Jay Wolf's a little heavier. Uh-oh. Look at this, going off the ropes and a boot, but Jay Wolf stays still up to his feet and it takes another shoulder block to send him down. Are these guys just gonna battle it out or are we gonna see the extreme rules part of this match come into play? Look at this. Oh, slinging Jay from the top rope. Oh man, it doesn't matter if you're seven foot 375 or not, you get Bruiser Brad on your chest. You're having a hard time breathing. One count there from Brad. Oh, big chop. 
and another running DDT. And Brad is fired up, folks. Jay Wolf using the ropes to get himself up to his feet. Look at this. Jesus. Jay just picked Brad clean off his feet and hung him over the top ropes. My goodness. That's going to show you the strength of these men. If Jay can pick up Bruiser Brad like that, holy Toledo. Look at, oh no. Oh, reversal. Brad was going for that splash and look at that. Jay Wolf with that huge power slam one. No, my goodness. Brad went for that corner cross body. Wolf blocked it and hit him with that power slam. Look at this. And Wolf's got Brad up. Terminating spike. Drops Brad right on his head quickly. Now going for the pin. One, two. Oh my goodness. Brad not giving up that easily. Holy cow. And here's Jay. He's going outside the ring. Are we going to see? Oh, he's going under the ring now. What's he going to pull out from under that ring? It's a steel chair. Holy cow. Brad's just up to his feet and catches a steel chair right across his head. And Jay wastes no time. Lays one across his body, but then tosses the chair out. One. No. No. Just a one count. Holy cow. Oh, headbutt. Sends Brad into the corner. But Brad reverses. And again, reversing that cross body. These guys, oh no. Shoulder first into the turnbuckle goes Jay. <laughs> Brad slinging Wolf up into the air here. Uh-oh. He's got Wolf in a, in a Boston Crab here. Remember, there's no uh, rope breaks and an extreme rolls match. Jay, though, flipping Brad out of the way. Nice move there by Jay. Shot to the back. DDT. Oh, and Brad rolls out of the ring. Is Wolf going to chase after him? Nope. Brad right back in. And here we go. Boom! Another twisting power slam from Jay. And Brad is up again. And Wolf terminating spike number two. Brad is busted open. Wolf quickly goes for the pin. One, two. And just like that, Jay Wolf is your winner. Holy cow. These guys put each other through hell, even without the steel chair. Here is your winner, Jay Oh, my the goodness. Savage. Folks, Jay Wolf is heading to Gold Rush to face off against Seb Abbott. This is, an, this is amazing. Even without the chair, Jay did a number on Bruiser Brad. You're a winner, folks. And oh my, no way. Oh my goodness. These guys. Oh no, Leo is upset, I have no doubt. We saw a few weeks back. Kid Hades attacking Leo McKay back here. And it looked like Leo has had enough. And he went after Kid. But but Kid is, is kind of in full control here. Oh, oh, Leo McKay is gonna send him down. These two guys were supposed to face off later tonight in a four-on-four -four match. The faces versus the freaks. Kid Hades, Lord Draven, Evelyn Reeves, and Zach Graves. Oh boy, I thought he was going through that table. They were going to take on Leo McKay, Vice, Lance, Romance. And oh man, what a move that was by Leo McKay. Holy cow. He's going to slide out of the way. And now Leo's got the upper hand. What a running neck breaker that was. Nice job. No, oh, these guys are. A little pissed off. I don't blame uh, Leo McKay about that. Uh-oh. Leo's got him up through the table. He just put good Hades through the table back here. Now Leo's got a steel chair. My God. Oh, man. And then dumps him on his head. My apologies. 
it was going to be a faces versus freaks match later tonight where it was going to be Leo McKay, Vice, Hunter King, and Lance Romance against Hades, Evelyn Reeves, Lord Draven, and Zach Graves. But we're going to have to push that match to next week, it looks like, as these guys are going at it. Look. Oh. It looked like maybe Leo had the upper hand there. Hades now, he's going to throw Leo back into the hallway right up against those crates. Leo might have started something. He may not be able to finish. Oh, man. Oh, shot to the back. Look at this. And these guys are just throwing each other all over the place back here. Oh, no. Leo's got kid. Oh, jeez. Sit out power bomb right there. I don't know if you can tell, but that little area with the red is raised up some. Oh, military drop. Gut buster. That might be it. I mean, in this, this has got to be over. Can we get some officials back there? Leo is furious. Remember, he barely got a chance the last time he was backstage. And, and uh, Kid Hades came after him. He barely got a chance. Hades hit him with a code breaker. That was it. Look at Leo. Look at Leo here. He's about to roll the dice on Kid Hades. Oh, man. Face first. Dear Lord, and he's not done. Uh-oh. Kick to the midsection. Hades going to throw Leo. Just get him away. Don't blame him there. Face first into the ground. And, oh, huge roundhouse kick. Elbow, though, by Leo McKay. And he's going to run. Float over neck breaker. Those dreads, not very helpful on the concrete. And are we going to see it again, dear Lord? Somebody stop this, and Kid, kid stops it right away. Uh-oh. Leo doesn't want it. Oh, he kicks the arm of Leo McKay. Kick right into the chest that time. Sends Leo into the hallway here. And, oh, 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 Leo catches himself before hitting the wall. Oh, right into that steel barrier. Kick to the midsection. Uh-oh, Kid Hades not going to let that happen. And a European uppercut. Good Lord, just right in the jaw. Oh, oh, no. Leo is busted open. Leo is busted open. And, oh, man. Kid Hades might be setting him up to, to head his travels down the river. Sticks go to Hades. My God. Finally, somebody has stopped this nonsense. Well, here we go, folks. Here is our tag team matchup of the night. I'm still reeling a little bit over Leo McKay and Kid Hades in the backstage area. My gosh. Coming out first, look at this man. This is our Lone Star champion. And apparently thinks very highly of himself. Siler Jordan, ladies and gentlemen. Introducing the natural born thriller, as he calls himself. Now, this match is really about Siler Jordan and Alex Corzo. Alex came out, as I mentioned earlier, where is my title? He's very upset that uh, Siler was uh, pretty much gifted the championship. And I don't blame him about that. We weren't totally sure Corzo was even coming back, and he showed up and said, where's my title? So, Siler Jordan said, look, you want a shot? I'll give you a shot. Let's do it a tag team matchup. You get a partner, I'll get a partner, and we'll have, a, we'll have ourselves a match. And they did. They both did. So, Corzo went with the other champion here in SWF as our uh, internet champion was not signed to come back. Our television champion in Seb Abbott 
was handed that uh, that Maverick championship. So he will be Alex Corzo's tag team partner here tonight. Tyler Jordan's tag team partner here will be this man had a rough go so far. He lost to um, SDC, I believe, in the first round of the Lone Star Championship Tournament. Then he was put into the eight-man battle royal where Bruiser Brad ended up winning that matchup. James Frost, the Canadian gunfighter, making his way to the ring right now as Siler Jordan's tag team partner for the season. He's got the wanted poster all over his tights here. These two gentlemen, if I'm not mistaken, have teamed up a few times in other federations. First time here in SWF. I'm interested to see what happens. I'm very interested to see what happens here tonight. I'm gonna have to. I, I kind of want a Canadian gunfighter shirt. I don't know if I wear it ringside. That might be a little biased. James Frost and Siler Jordan wait their opponents here tonight. Colossus Corzo is literally fired up. He is flying down to the ring here, and Siler and James step out and give Corzo his space. Alex Corzo won the Rebellion Championship last season after cashing in his uh, championship contract belt that he won at, I, I forget which pay-per-view it was now, but he won a title match, or excuse me, he won a ladder match and pulled down that contract. And then later, I want to say it was crowning achievement, and then later he won that, cash it in, beat Calypso, who held that championship throughout last season. A lot of criticism um, about Calypso, but the man did his did his thing and held on to that title, opponent after opponent. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, and his partner, Seb from Abbott, Australia, your Australia, Maverick Australia, champion. As you see it there across his waist, this man Sebastian he is from Australia and he is a madman. He's missing teeth. He's covered in tattoos. He's just a crazy person. And he showed us all that. Oh, okay. That's an expensive camera there, Seb. He showed all of us last season what he could do, and he was the first ever and only television champion last season. Now, the Maverick champion. Did you see the title there around his waist? He's teaming up uh, with Corzo, and here's Siler and James. They're pumping up the crowd. Oh. What a, what a show here from the Sebastian, uh, from the Sebastian, from the Australian Madman. Here we go. This is champion versus champion, pretty much. Corzo and Frost teaming up with Sebastian Abbott and Siler Jordan. Here we go. Jordan is going to start this thing off, and so is Corzo. Here we go, folks. They meet center of the ring, and right off the bat, oh, man. Jordan goes for a pin quickly, and Corzo kicks out. Frost is cheering on his teammate there. Look at this. What is Jordan doing? Oh, man. Face first into the mat. Nice move there by Corzo. And he is, oh man. Look, and he's gonna start things off. Look at the arms, jeez. Jordan though gets out of it and a kick right to the back of the head of Corzo. Oh boy, here we go. Are we gonna see a first tag up? We sure are. Frost making his way in. Oh! A little assisted boot 
to the face of Corzo here. Corzo quickly. Alex getting out of it. And here we go. What's he do? He's going to send into the corner. Seb Abbott might be making his first appearance here in SWF, and he sure is. Look at that. Oh, no. Corzo goes high as Seb Abbott goes low and takes James Frost out just like that. <laughs> Kick to the jaw of Seb. Oh, shot into the midsection now. Oh, that Australia, Australian press. Look at the tattoo across the back. Good Lord. Huge clothesline from Abbott. Jordan doing all he can to cheer on Frost here. And a next snap to James Frost, who, oh, who quickly pushes Seb Abbott away. Abbott now is sent into the corner. So far, uh-oh, back into the corner he goes. So far, I was going to say, Frost and, and Jordan are doing a great job of teaming up together. But it looks like Corzo and Abbott are doing even better. Look at this. Holy cow, what a flying body splash there. And, uh-oh, here we go. Big running knee. Frost was able to tag Jordan in and another knee. But right now, Frost is out on the outside and Jordan is all alone. Holy cow, what is happening here? Are we about to see the thrill knee? No! Oh, Corzo dodges that bicycle knee. Doesn't take advantage. And Corzo goes out of the way. Oh no! Corzo, what are you doing, my friend? Jordan sends Alex out to the outside and taunts Alex as he was trying to taunt him. Over the top rope and down. Frost is back. Not in a good part of town, though. Alex is in a bad area here. These guys are taking it. Jeez, they're going right at each other here. Corzo back into the ring. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Look at Jordan. Holy cow. Siler Jordan just dropped Corzo on his head with that neck breaker from the apron. And face first. Goes Alex, oh my gosh. Alex has got to get, there you go. He has got to get back in this thing. And quick, they lock up. Jordan pushes him away. Oh my God, that's it. That is it. One, two, and no, Seb comes in to stop him. Seb throws Jordan off of him, but catches a side rushing leg sweep from Frost. Both men retreat back to their corners. Reversal now from Corzo. Oh! A single leg takedown. Some sort of spear type move. And oh, and a backbreaker. Backbreaker to Siler Jordan right in front of his tag team partner. Look at this. And geez, look at James Frost. He is fired up. He is fired up. But look at this. Corzo's going to put Siler Jordan out of commission, trying to break that arm. And again, with the taunt, this time doing it at a much better opportunity. Leg drop across the throat of Siler Jordan. Seb Abbott's back up to his feet now and just a one count. Look at James Frost. This man is cranked. Into the corner now goes Siler Jordan. Alex really taking his time to get over there. He's going to put Siler up on the top rope. My God. What is happening here? What is happening here? Don't. Oh, oh my God. Superplex from the top rope to the outside. That might be the advantage that Corzo and Abbott need. Holy Toledo. Look at this. Oh, man, now Jordan's going to put Corzo face first into those steel steps. Oh, kick to the midsection now. Went for a second one, but Corzo throws him down. What a... Uh-oh. 
Oh, he's got the heel hook locked in. He's got it locked in, and Jordan, oh, kick to the face. These guys got to get back in the ring here, or Corzo's going to get counted out. He's at eight or nine, and look at Siler Jordan. And Corzo gets in right at the last second. Oh, what a reversal there from Siler Jordan. Nice job there. I have to give props to him on that one. Very good move there. And, oh, Jordan goes over the top, and now he's out. Very smart move there by Siler. Over the top now. Corzo's going to send Siler across the ring. Siler dodges it. Goes for a clothesline and misses. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Quickly going for the pin here, but a count, or excuse me, a rope break. Seb wanted that tag, but Siler's not going to let Corzo get to him. He's going to show him. Oh, no. Here we go. The throw more lock. He's got it locked in, and geez, so fast. Corzo got out of that. Picked him up just enough and slammed him down to break that hold. Kick to the midsection. Need across the face. That might be it. Oh, no. Rope break. Siler was too close to those ropes. You got to be aware of where you are in the ring. My goodness. Seb looking for the pin, uh, for the tag, excuse me, and Siler gets between the two men. Nice move there. Oh, forearm shot after forearm shot in a sling blade. Holy cow. Siler Jordan on a roll here. Look at this. And now he's got it. It's locked in the STF. Seb not getting involved in these two men's rivalry, it looks like. And Corzo has tapped out. My God. Corzo just tapped out to the STF. Siler Jordan and James Frost get the victory. What a match that was. And as I said, these guys have done it before. Wow, what a matchup that was. Corzo came in, fired up and ready, and he put Siler Jordan through the ringer, that's for sure. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, James Frost and Siler Jordan. Here we are, folks, the main event of the evening. This matchup is gonna determine who faces Siler Jordan at Gold Rush. Introducing first, this man has made it quite a ways through here, facing off against, uh, like I said earlier, James Frost, and then Vice. This is SDC, the hero of wrestling, he calls himself. Last season, SDC teamed up with Dino D as a tag team, but now he's, got, he's here to show he's doing a damn good job of it why he's also a hell of a singles competitor. SDC making his way down. I'm, I'm excited about this, excuse me, I'm excited about this main event. I'm excited about Gold Rush. What's happening? What's gonna happen? We don't know. Duke Zenda is SDC's opponent tonight. Duke faced off against Leo McKay, which that same night, Kid Hades attacked Leo McKay. Duke Zenda also faced off against Ryan Riley, who didn't have the Sons of Carnage, James Gaines III and Jesse Newman, where he did have them when he faced off against Mason Foster, who had Cruiser Brad and Malcolm Black in his corner. Possibly giving him the advantage, who knows? Who knows about that? Ryan Riley, though, made it to the second round and was defeated by Duke Zenda. So these guys, we're gonna finish up this tournament with SDC taking on the creator, the owner, the leader, whatever you want to call him, of Money, Inc. And he is from my hometown, Houston, Texas. Look at this. Duke Zenda, this blonde bombshell of a man. Hockey as can be, but it's, it is definitely um, backed up. That's for sure. And here he's dropping these million dollar bills with his face on him. 
I, I have a stack here. I put them in a little money gun and make that shit rain. Oh. I'm going to have to bleep that out. Guys in the truck, bleep that out. Money ink there on the jacket. And there's just money everywhere. Duke Zenda, baby. He is very full of himself. But as I said, it he backs it up. The man backs it up. He can fight. Not only can he wrestle, he can fight. And he has definitely showed it to us many, many times before. Duke Zenda, probably the, and I say this every time, the longest uh, tenured person here in SWF. It might be Vice. They might have come in at the same time. But all that aside, Duke Zenda and SDC, the winner, Facing Siler Jordan at Gold Rush. Oh, kick to the face, and SDC's not starting things off slow, but neither is Duke. Big single leg drop kick right there. Oh, man, what a DDT that was. And a dodge. Oh, shot to the back. Look, I mean, he's just wailing on these on SDC, and he blocks the drop kick. Oh, in strung up on the ropes now. Big left hand. To, oh, dodging the drop kick. I'm, I'm, all this is happening at once. Nice jawbreaker there. These guys are going at it, throwing everything they can at each other. Forearm shot. Oh, knee right to the chin. Don't mess up the money maker. Sending him around. Falcon arrow, center of the ring. Woo! And he's gonna stop for a second and breathe. Let me breathe while I'm at it. Good lord. Are we about to see the knee already? Holy cow. Quickly going for the pin. One, two, no. Oh boy. SDC trying to end this thing early. He's going to get Duke up. Look at this. Look at this. And stretch, abdominal stretch in the seated position. The ref down there looking to see if Duke's going to tap. No. Oh, shots to the knee. And Duke is gets up to his feet. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Especially since he was pulling on that rib cage area in that ab section. And he was still able to get that hip toss over. My goodness. Duke pulled back up to his feet and he stops the kick from SDC. Float over. Neck breaker. SDC now. Right there on that Hot Tag Pins logo. Go check them out. Hottagpins.bigcartel.com. Oh, shot to the guts here. Oh, man. SDC back in control. Stopping the super kick, it looked like. And float over DDT this time. SDC landed a few super kicks to Vice, and that might have put him out. Look at this. Go! Oh! Middle rope kick to the face. One, two. No, SDC kicks out. Wow. He came off. Duke came off that middle rope with all the momentum. And put that boot right across the head of SDC. Look at this. Oh, the rolling cutter from Duke. And he again quickly goes for the pin. One, two. SDC kicks out again. My goodness. These guys are really going at each other. I'm loving this main event right now. SDC uppercut to Duke. Jumping DDT center of the ring. And SDC is fired up, but Duke gets out of the way. And a single leg drop kick. He threatens a fan, it looks like, does Duke. Oh. And a second clothesline from SDC ducking. Oh my god, a super kick right to the chin. And again, we're about to see it. Falcon arrow to Duke Zenda in the corner. He's pulling Duke away from that corner. Smart move. Goes down for the pin. One, two, and Duke's looking up, but he still kicks out at two. Oh boy. SDC's backing up. You know what that means. It took two of these to put Vice down. And there's a second one 
to Duke, who's been busted open. One, two. Oh my goodness. All the air in the atmosphere just sucked out of this building when that kick out. And look at Duke now. He's got a hold. Oh, we're gonna see it again. Kick right to the side of the face. Goes down for the pin. Is the bloody Duke gonna get the victory here tonight? No, no. Oh my gosh. Who is gonna win this matchup and face Siler Jordan at Gold Rush? Duke's getting SDC up to his feet. Locking him in. The million dollar cutter right there. That could be it. The ref is down one, two, three. Oh my God. Duke Zenda, ladies and gentlemen, is your winner. Oh, I got to give it to SD, SDC, excuse me. The man put up one hell of a fight. This man, holy cow, put up one hell of a fight. Look at Duke. No, don't do it, Duke. Oh my God, we've got to go. Come back for the next episode of Shootout.